Welcome back to the channel today. We got uh, my buddy Presley's truck in here, P-Swag, whatever you want to call him, Smokestack. Uh, we got his one truck he has in here. Uh, they haul pigs. This is a 2004-2005 T600 Kenworth. Um, today we're going to be washing it up, getting it all clean. And then uh, we have to put four new tires on the back, because I'll show you. Right here we have about four inches of lug. And then these are, uh, those aren't so good. So we're going to replace the back four. And then uh, I think we're going to take these, these fairings off because they're ugly. Then hopefully in upcoming videos we're going to be putting some stacks on her. And then taking these fairings off because they don't look very pretty. And then this truck's going to be a bad sum gun. Oh, if, if you haven't met Shatner, this is Shatner. <laughs> okay guys, well I'm Shatner and if you didn't know, I'm Cooper. Buddy. Me and Cooper met four years ago now, I want to say. I'm not good at this camera talking crap. So Gary, how many miles do you put on this little girl a week? Week? A week. I, I don't think it's legal to tell. Oh. <laughs> Would you look at that stroke in action on that white paint? Getting her all shiny. Spraying her down with the soap. You always want to start up from the top to the bottom and go between your legs. He's not doing it right. He's not getting the top and going to the bottom. There's something on your face, buddy. Ow! <laughs> Why yeah. is Shad behind the camera? I don't know why I'm behind the camera. Not good news, boys. <laughs> Garrett one and Garrett two. I'm the better one. DS, is that how you reel up a hose? <laughs> All right, Garrett's never changed tires for us. So I'm going to teach him how. So we're going to pull off these back four. We're going to jack it up first, obviously. And then we're going to pull them off. I've changed plenty of tires in my life. Tires have been changed. She's ready to go, man. Don't move till it goes past it. Don't hit the sensor! Cut! <laughs> <laughs> Who in the heck installs these things anyways? Look at the Ford and its natural habitat. <laughs> Broke down and not running. I like a dry work environment. So we're... Presley. This is Coop's application for the Olympics. What is that called for the... the curling, I think. Curling? Look at the form. Chad, you want to jump in the puddle? Did you dye that mustache? No, I uh... Cause it's dirty! <laughs> it's my flavor saver, baby! Poor Garrett can't grow facial hair. Chad, his is a little weak. Yeah, it needs dyed again. Actually, I'll take some grease off the fifth wheel and we'll put it on there. <laughs> yeah, brother! I'm just sitting here with my hands in my pockets watching this old boy. You do can do it work. with the best of them, I tell you what. Don't be splashing on the wall, Coop. Missed the spot again, right there. That's rush, Shad. You better get your paint can out. All right, we're gonna take our uh, 500 pound floor jack, jack up the back end. We're gonna pull all four. Then we're gonna see how long it takes to change these things. Ice right, man! Perfect. This right here is a cattle pot, a uh, hog pot, whatever you call them, piglet pontoon. Um, so this is where you hog the pigs in. Then you put these slots in here to uh, keep the heat in in the winter. Covers up all these holes, doesn't let as much air in, keeps heat in. But uh, Cat coop. we got tires in here, four new ones. <laughs> Dang. Chad, do you want to get that other one? So this is what it looks like in here. There's obviously, is there two layers on this? Yeah, yep. two layers. I think when they haul uh, babies, they put three layers in. Four, four oh, yeah, layers, three, three, three four. layers of uh, decking. And then uh, so they can get uh, more pigs in it because little pigs don't take as much room. And so they put in their layer in so they can haul more piglets. <laughs> You guys see this? This is Shadner's truck. It's a pig. It's a ram. No one wants them. All right, let's go back inside. It's cold. Shad, what are these? 285, 75, or 24, 5. All right, you got four new tires here. You heading out? Yeah. Garrett's leaving. Bye. So, looks like it's just me and Shad. I don't trust Shad much with anything, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Way to go, Shad. Yeah, that's quite good, man. Jeez! They won't take them off. We gotta get the air gun. That's why you buy a Milwaukee. That is DeWalt's, they don't work. What are we doing to the semi? My weekly vacuum. You wanna give them a, a tour of the inside yet or not yet? You can. Okay. Well, hear that. The bed's not made, so. Make it funny but appropriate. We will. So, this is the cockpit. 
This is where I'm at over 90% of the time of the day. Tell, tell me about the ball, the buttons and stuff here. So these are all your lights. So what happens if I pull this when we're going down the road? Now here's, here's there's where all the fun happens. There's not much fun that happens back here. I'm The magic I'm, show. I'm always up front. But yeah, this is where I do sleep when I sleep. And the best part about the bunk is there's two 12 inch subs underneath the sleeper. Underneath the bed there, there's two 12 inch kickers. We better get like a flashlight on these, on these things. Hold up. That's the real money action. That's what's gonna keep you up at night. Two 12 inch kicker comps. They make the whole thing rumble or not? Don't know yet. We're about ready to hook them up and we'll get back to you on that one. How many miles this old girl have on her? Bought it with 900,000. That is a lot of miles. It's in this thing all the time. Nope, if you want to see me nowadays, you got to come ride with me. You hear that, ladies? Come ride with the boy. If you want, you, if you want some of that. I ain't much to me. I'm just a redhead. So. <laughs> Chad, man, these things are tight. I, this could be a problem. <laughs> Woohoo! Now that's NASCAR right there, boys. Yep. Let's get another beauty shot like that. <laughs> the hair <laughs> We got one, two, three, four, five of them buppies off. Why'd you jack this up so high? <laughs> got it. Another one. Garrett, how'd you get that so dirty? How'd you get that rim so dirty? I think it might be the washer. It's too. it's the washer. Watch your turn, Shaddy. All right, we gotta get the, the tool that pulls these things. All the airs will go pssst, pssst. That's what he said. This Special is the thing team. that pulls out the thing. So it's we're a gonna valve stem puller. Huh? It's a valve stem puller. No. Oh, you know, it's a thing? Yeah. There's a lot of things in the world, aren't there? You ready for the pssst? Oh yeah, fresh air, baby. You Mountain Dew in here? Yeah, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, dude. And chocolate milk. Oh, oh, oh! Another one. Scratch the rim. Nice. So I don't know if you need this takeoff tire, so I'll make it even here. This is Lou. L U B. That's Lou. Lube. What is this tool you're using? It's a tire takeoff offer? You need to oil that thing. Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Why is this thing not coming off? There it goes. Oop, there it is. You didn't spray enough lube on there. You want to go on the back shelf and find some Panther PP so we can put on the plugs? You're knowing what Panther PP is, penetrating oil. I don't know what that'll do, but we're going to give her. Uh, <laughs> this is a new tire, right? No. <laughs> this is the new tire. Here, let me get my depth meter. It's like an endless void. First things first, when you put up on a new tire, it's gonna be much stiffer than a used tire. It's not broken. So you're gonna wanna lube up the edge. The more lube, the better, in my opinion. What'd you eat? Oh, yeah. I really need a sledge. You'll get some Pam. Pam? Yeah. <laughs> Off the coals we go to go get the sledgehammer. After Cooper uses his plumber tools to put on tire. Hits the rim. Whew. Something's wrong with that valve stem because that should be empty by now. Um, sludge hammers are for the week we found out. And uh, this valve stem is all messed up. It's still leaking air. How much air could an air chuck chuck if an air cud chuck Air. Can you say that any faster? Or? How much air could an air chuck chuck of an air chuck could chuck air? <laughs> <laughs> the reason that the tire puts these stickers on here is so when the, when the sticker's gone, the tire's bad. Alright, so we did one tire here, and obviously, as you can tell, very repetitive crap. So I'm not going to film all four because I don't think anyone wants to sit here and watch us change four tires. That literally took probably 45 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. So these are tighter and all get out because. I don't think these tires have been off since these tires have uh, been put on. So we're gonna try to stand on here. Getting somewhere, huh? They're not moving. Did someone weld those on there or what? <laughs> I've seen 
looks like it. The torch it is. I think Cooper welded them on there just so he could make some good content. Use the horse to pull that around usually? Uh, yeah, but the horse is in the barn right now. Oh. It's all cold out, gelled up. So did you tell them about when we burn up the trailer? Oh, no, we can tell them right now. Me first, and Cooper, first time we ever really hung out in my house, I uh, decided it would be a really good idea to go make a rope swing out of one of the old augers from their auger junkyard. So we brought the auger over there and then we brought their service trailer that had a big fuel tank on it for diesel and then it had a gas tank on it. Yep, gas tank. There's a, gen uh, a welder on there, full of tools generator. and whatnot. Yeah, generator. Air compressor. Yep, and so we pulled it under the auger and we were welding on top of it mm -hmm. while a spark fell down and it hit the gas tank. We just used the gas tank to fill the welder up. It's had a little bit of residue on it, but... It's a little residue gas. on the hose. And then a spark hit it, and Chandra goes, trailer's on fire! I'm like, what? So I jumped down, and we have no fire extinguisher on this thing. We're a thousand feet from any building around, well, probably more than that. Yeah. Quarter of a mile from anything. Quarter of a mile from anything. We had a pond, and I had a shovel, so I went down to the pond, grabbed a shovel full of water, tried to put it out, did not work. <laughs> did not work. Cooper's hat lost in the fire, call the fire department. So Chandra calls fire department, Instead of saying we have a fuel trailer on fire, fire full of like 100 gallons of gasoline, he says there's a gas uh, container on fire. So they come up with one, like just like a truck that bring a little bit of water on it. Yeah, Not like a grass a rig. That's all it was. Yeah, it was a grass rig. And uh, so, the, yeah, they came and the whole trailer burned up. We thought it was going to blow up. It did not blow up. No. And the truck that was on it didn't burn. It just melted the flaps and the tail lights and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> And what the fire department thought there was deaf in the gas tank too. Yeah, they thought it was deaf instead of gas. And so, so they didn't really care. They're just like, oh, we'll spray some water on it. No, no, you don't. You don't spray water on the gasoline and diesel fuel. It it just doesn't work. You got to use the foam. It was it was a bad day. That's literally how me and Cooper became friends. Now look at him. So looking cute. What we're doing here, if you didn't know, we're burning the rust and all the debris that has gone inside and harden this nut to the bolt. We're trying to remove it. It's kind of like that one girl that will never leave you alone. You gotta get rid of her. It's called the block button on Snapchat. <laughs> oh, baby. You know, if this was my truck, I probably would just cut them off, but since it's my buddies, we're gonna just remove the nut. You only need half of them, honestly. It's just like expiration date on some foods. It's just like a recommendation. Yeah, like the milk, they still, it, it just stinks, it's no big deal. Like, well, unless you start feeling like the curds in there start forming, and then, yeah, you, then you throw it out. But if it stinks, it's fine. Yeah, but then you just make cottage cheese out of it, right? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go check on Garrett over here. Is this the ejecto cedo button? Whenever you uh, are done using your torch, always make sure you leave your valves on because it empties out your torch. Wally World! Is it working? Okay. So, got tires on finally. Uh, one of these four here fought me forever. I actually had to have my father come down and help me pry on it while I was leaning on the one bar. Finally got it off. But yep, got them on. And uh, we're gonna lower it down now. And uh, let's see if we can take these flares off and make it look like an actual semi instead of like a, like a cargo semi or something that looks boring and stuff like that. You gotta pull all these screws out. And then there's a uh, couple bolts back here. And we'll take these off. All right, so we got every screw out except for two bolts, and we, uh, whoever painted this, I'm guessing the factory, Kenworth. Shout out to Kenworth, shout out to <laughs> Peterbilt. You both do it. Paint the whole cab before you stick the ferros on. You guys do a poopy de job. Poopy on. design. Poopy so yeah. now we have to put these back on because we don't have paint. So now we have to get paint to color match that so then we can take those off but this is going to be the end of the video i think for today or whatever i don't know if we're going to be working tomorrow or not we'll come back when the subs are going. yeah well yeah oh yeah we got to get the subs going so glad you guys watch subscribe and uh peace